Hey guys, it's Megan, and today I thought I would do a story time slash experience video for my Jack and Jack concert that I went to a couple weeks ago. It was honestly the best day of my life, and I just thought I would share it with you guys because I normally do concert experience videos on this channel. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy, and let's get into it. I went to their show in Nashville, which was on February 24th. I literally bought my ticket a couple days before the show because it was a general admission concert, which means it was all standing room only, so I wasn't too worried about like getting a ticket right away. Even though the first 40 people to buy tickets did get free meet and greet, but I don't think I had money when the tickets first went on sale, so I couldn't really do that. But my friend Faith, I went with her to the concert, and she got the tickets right when they came out, but she still didn't get the first 40, so she was kind of upset about that, and I was upset for her. We went into the day thinking we weren't going to meet them at all because because we just literally both of us had general admission tickets and that's it. Neither of us bought VIP. A week or two before the show, our local radio station was doing this contest thing where you could enter to try to meet Jack and Jack and Dea. And Dea is the girl that opened up for them on tour. Her most famous song is Hideaway. It's on the radio like everywhere. So we literally entered that contest every single day. Both of us did. Neither of us won the contest, which is kind of upsetting, like really upsetting. Some of Faith's friends won it and one of her friends ended up bringing her as a guest because everyone that won was was able to bring a guest with them. But this one, I was still unsure if I could go or not. This one girl that Faith kind of knew didn't have a guest, and so I was able to be her guest. And going from not being able to meet Jack and Jack to finding out you're gonna be able to meet them is like probably the best news ever. Um, so I was freaking excited. So we get to the radio station around 11 o'clock, that's the time we were supposed to be there, and it didn't start till like 11.30, but they checked everyone in and everything, and then you got in. We saw Daya and Jack and Jack kind of do like a little acoustic thing. They each performed three songs, which was amazing. Like this was my first time seeing Jack and Jack, and I've known about them for so long, I've just never actually seen them. So it was just like, it was so surreal and like I just couldn't believe that Galinsky and Johnson were actually in front of me. I note, going into the concert, I had always been a Galinsky girl. I don't know why, I mean I, I know why. I obviously like Johnson and all, but I was just like always in Galinsky's lane. So yeah, they both sang three songs like acoustically and then we were able to meet them. But the only thing bad about like your picture was you had to have you, your guest, both of the Jacks and Daya all in the same picture. It's like, I love Daya and all, and I like would love to have a picture with her, but I kind of wanted a picture of just me and the Jacks, obviously. But the picture still turned out cute. And yeah, as you can tell, I totally just got up on Galinsky, and that way I could crop it, just me and him. We tried to wait around to see if they would like leave and come out and try to see them as they left, but we didn't, and we just ended up leaving. And I had to go to the mall because that morning my charger broke, and I we also, me and Faith, also ate lunch at the mall. Um, and then we headed back to where the venue was. A lot of the people that Faith and I, I kind of knew them, Faith mainly knew them. We went and stayed with them in line and they were actually in the VIP line. We got to this line around 2.30 or so and we didn't even have VIP so I really have no idea what we were doing in the VIP line. It was freezing outside, it was sleeting and it was raining and it wasn't really fun but we did it for the Jacks because I don't know why. We were trying to think of a way that we could sneak into the VIP, came up with some kind of idea because a lot of our friends got like email sent to them saying that they were like one of the first 40 people to buy tickets so they got free meet and greet. We had someone send me a screenshot of their email because all you had to do was show them the email to get in or whatever. But we tried to do that when they like went through the line to check everyone in. And it didn't end up working so at this point I was just like, I was nervous and determined to like get in and Faith at this point started crying because she thought it would like help us to get in or something, I don't know. It didn't work, the ladies kept on going down the line. This girl behind us, her name was Allison, she was like, oh, I have an extra meet and greet if you want it, and pulls out her extra wristband, and I was like, wait, what? And me and Faith just kind of look at each other, and we're like, wait, we can't 
both use this meet and greet and it's not like one of us is gonna use it and then the other one be screwed over. And then Faith just like walks off and she walks closer up to the beginning of the line and she's talking to one of her other friends and her other friend ended up having an extra meet and greet and so Faith took her friend's extra meet and greet and I took Allison's extra meet and greet and we were able to get inside to meet them again and it was like I I don't even know how to describe my emotions at this point because no, I did I was at a loss for words pretty much. We were also towards the beginning of the line and they finally let us in around like 4.30, 4.45 ish. The way the meet and greet was set up was like here's the line and here's like where you meet them. There's like a backdrop thing so you didn't really see the people meeting them. So like at the radio station we were able to like record us meeting them but we weren't able to do that at VIP. But they go in and you have like a little wristband thing so they mark the wristband off once you've gone through. They always ask for your name or whatever and Glinsky's like the first one so I went up to <laughs> Glinsky and hugged him and he like asked like what's your name again so I guess he kind of like remembered me from meeting them earlier in the day. He was like what's your name again? I said Megan and then Johnson was like what was that? And I said Megan again and hugged him and then I think I said I love them or something. I honestly don't even know. I, don't know. I feel like I was like at a loss of wo for words again. They asked what pose you want to do and I just did the classic hugging pose but they didn't really do the pose I really wanted to do but it still like turned out cute. Since it was my first picture of just me and the jacks I kind of wanted it to just be like a just a normal picture I guess if that makes sense. We got the picture and then as you walk out they hand you like a VIP lanyard thing and like a little like tie-dye bracelet that said Jack and Jack on it. Then you're able to go into the concert because I guess like the VIP included like early entry into the venue or whatever so we went in and we actually got front row because we were so close up in the VIP line. Being front row like was honestly probably like I mean meeting them was great and all but like front row was literally so much fun. We got to the like front row around like 4 45 5 o'clock ish and the show didn't start until 7 30 so we were again standing up there for two and a half hours but it was honestly so worth it. It was like one of the best concerts of my life probably the best concert of my life because not only is their music different from like a lot of the other artists that I listened to but it was just like so unique in their concert like they made it how do I explain this? I don't even know how to explain this. It was lit. It was lit. I do have some videos that I can insert from the concert, so I'll do that so you can like see how great it was for yourself. Like I said, I started off a Galinsky girl and throughout the concert I became a Johnson girl real quick. I changed lanes so fast I just swerved over and I'm okay with it. Like honestly, I'm such a Johnson girl now that I'm like who's Galinsky who? Like who's Galinsky? general admission ticket to be in front row and meeting them twice. I am honestly so blessed and so thankful. I also met a lot of new friends at the show. Shout out to Lex if you're watching this. I love you and we're meeting up again. Um, if you're going to the Ricky and Trevor concert on Monday in Nashville, I'll be there. Yes, yeah, so that's about it for this story time video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up to let me know that you did. Faith wants to say hi. This was who I went to the concert with. We've collabed a lot, so you should go subscribe to her because she's great. Woo! Oh my god, you're so light. Like, I can literally... Yes, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!